What does the speed of light look like on Earth? It's one of the fastest things in the universe, traveling at 299,792 kilometers per second. That's about 186,282 miles per second. But what does that actually mean in our daily lives? Imagine flipping a light switch in a room. The moment your finger presses the switch, the light appears to turn on instantly. That's because light travels so fast that even across a large room, it takes mere nanoseconds to reach your eyes. If you were standing at the top of Mount Everest and a powerful flashlight was turned on at the base, the light would reach you almost instantly, far too fast for the human brain to detect any delay. Even at a planetary scale, light is almost instantaneous. It takes just over a second for light to travel from the Earth to the Moon. That means if astronauts were on the lunar surface, sending a signal back and forth to Earth, there would be a noticeable delay, but still incredibly fast in the grand scheme of the universe. On Earth, light speed is hard to grasp because we live in a world where nothing comes close to matching it. The fastest aircraft, the State Route 71 Blackbird, flies at about 3,500 km per hour, but light could circle the entire Earth seven and a half times in a single second. If a bullet fired from a gun moved at the speed of light, it would hit a target on the other side of the planet before you even registered the gunshot. While light is incredibly fast, it is an instant. Fiber optic cables, which power the internet, use light to transmit information. When you load a web page, the signal travels through thousands of kilometers of cables, but the delay is so small, measured in milliseconds, that it feels instantaneous. If you were to video call someone on the opposite side of the world, the slight lag you experience is because light, while incredibly fast, still takes time to move across vast distances. One of the most striking demonstrations of light speed can be seen in lightning and thunder. When a lightning bolt strikes, you see the flash almost immediately, but the sound of thunder arrives seconds later. This happens because light travels much faster than sound. By counting the seconds between the flash and the thunder, you can estimate how far away the lightning struck. But what if light traveled slower? If light moved at the speed of a commercial airplane, turning on a lamp across the room would take several seconds to reach your eyes. Watching a sunset would be an entirely different experience. Seeing the last rays of the sun fade minutes after it actually set below the horizon. Despite how fast light is, it does have limits. In astronomy, we use the term light year to measure vast distances. Even though light is the fastest thing in the universe, reaching the nearest star beyond our sun still takes over four years. That's why looking at stars is like looking back in time. The light from distant galaxies started traveling millions or even billions of years ago, meaning we see them as they were long before humans even existed. The speed of light is one of the fundamental constants of the universe, shaping the way we see and understand reality. On Earth, it may seem instant, but in the vastness of space, even light takes time to journey through the cosmos.